Thanks. Welcome to Trident Anti-Aging's video tutorial on reconstitution. A lot of medications and nutraceuticals are going to be delivered to you in a liposized or freeze-dried form. This is or in order to maintain potency. In order to change it into a form that we can actually use, we have to reconstitute or activate it. The way we do this is with bacteriostatic water, which is going to come in your packet. So today we're going to show you how to reconstitute HCG. This is the same process for reconstituting the peptides as well. In order to start the reconstitution process, we'll get all of our supplies. So first you're going to need the HCG vial. This is the one that has the white powder on the bottom of it. It also says HCG. You will need your bacteriostatic water vial. You're going to need your mixing syringe. This is the one that already comes with the needle attached. And you'll need your alcohol prep pads. So first we're going to get the vials ready. You're going to remove the plastic safety caps from both vials simply by popping them off. You always want to make sure you have the safety caps on a new vial before you use it. Next you're going to take your alcohol prep pads and you're going to clean the top of both of the vials. You want to focus on the center rubber cap. So just clean the top like that. Next you're going to unwrap the mixing syringe simply by peeling the top and removing the syringe. So now you're gonna take a look at the reference guide in your packet, the piece of paper that looks like this. It's going to tell you the amount of bacteriostatic water to draw back in order to correctly reconstitute for your dosage of the HCG. Next, we're going to carefully uncap the needle by pulling the plastic cap off. We're gonna draw back a few cc's of air into the syringe. Just to note, cc and milliliter are the same unit of measurement, so don't get confused if we interchange them. What this is gonna do is help us to create a negative pressure vacuum in the bacteriostatic vial in order to make it easier to pull back the liquid. So now carefully insert the needle into the rubber cap and invert the bacteriostatic vial water. Now you're going to inject the air into the vial and then draw back to the appropriate dose as listed on the piece of paper. Pull back a little bit extra with the vial. That way you're going to get rid of any of the extra air bubbles that have made their way into the top. Now push the plunger to the exact measurement as indicated on your piece of paper and you'll remove the needle from the cap. Now you're gonna flick the top of the syringe to remove the extra air bubbles and slowly push so you get a little bit come out of the top of the syringe. So now we are going to add the bacteriostatic water to the HCG vial. So what you're going to do again is carefully insert the needle into the rubber tip and you're gonna slowly inject the bacteriostatic water into the HCG vial. Immediately after, we're going to carefully recap our needle. The best way to do this is to leave the needle top on a flat surface and use the needle tip to scoop it up. You're gonna use your other hand to click the cap back into place. Then you'll put this aside. You want to carefully rotate the HCG vial. It's a very fragile substance, so you wanna make sure not to shake the vial vigorously. And now you have reconstituted your HCG vial. Once the HCG or peptide has been reconstituted, you wanna make sure that you keep it in the refrigerator to maintain the potency.